Bonjour. <laughs> Welcome to the French stream. Oh, you know what? Fuck that. Yeah. I can't do French accents. <laughs> Today we are going to be playing a short visual novel, Cato, I think it's pronounced. Like Gato, but it's cat. Yeah, it's... And it is cats in Paris. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but basically it's a dating sim with cats. Yeah, cats musical. Uh, yeah, let's uh, <laughs> jump straight into it, guys. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Energy. You always complain I don't have energy when we stream. I complain you don't have energy except when I don't want you to have energy. It's like I'll be trying to make dinner and you'll just come in and start annoying me for no reason. Man, it's just a constant. You are constant. This is just how to play a visual novel, if, if you don't already know. Oh, that's pretty pol- I, I don't particularly. <laughs> I don't know how many visual novels I've played. Sakura? I played, I think, Sakura Santa. Do you know the Sakura games? I do know. Very good games. Are they? No. I didn't think so. Uh, what is my name? What do you want your name to be? It can be anything. Ooh, cat. <laughs> Un chat. Yeah. If you want, you could be a cat what, also. What, what's the gender of the character? Um, I, sh I, I don't know. <laughs> what? Roxanne. Roxanne's a good name. I don't like that name as a cat. Uh, am I you're, a cat? You're not a cat. Okay. You're not a cat. I thought I was playing as a cat, so... Basically, in this game, you go around and adopt all the cats. Every cat in Paris. Yep. The Paris cat. It's a dating sim for cats. You've got to make the right choices to be able to adopt a cat. Just type any name, mate. Honestly, this is not the hardest we're choice Clive, you're going to have to make. We're Clive with a K. Oh, edgy. Paris is truly a sight to behold. <laughs> okay, I can't do French. You said that before and yet you still tried again. Yeah, because you know. Paris is truly a sight to behold. I can't get used to it. Even having lived here for most of my life. The scene, the party. <laughs> Sorry. I just want to do it, but I can't do it. I know. The River Seine. The Paris River. <laughs> Parting the city in two. I the don't think you need it. <laughs> the smell of baked goods in the morning and the buildings filled with history. And so we're seeing this really shoddy alley. I share an apartment with my old friend, Roselle. <laughs> Roselle. <laughs> who studies veterinary. Veterinary. Vet. 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 Vet medicine. <laughs> Of some sort. Do you want me to read? No. Are you okay? I don't like to spend much time with her as my job working the evening shift at a small newspaper. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> I ought to let her know that I will be heading to the office for a little bit tonight. Mwah. My dude, fucking wash up. Hey, bro! How are you? Am I okay? Are you? <laughs> hey, bro, how are you doing? I sound like a bit Spanish, honestly. Yeah, it's not really French. Um, <laughs> try, try doing a better French accent. I'm alright, Clive. I'm okay, Clive. And you? All good. <laughs> I'll just read up on it later. I might increase the... Uh... What, what the fuck is this? I, what are you struggling with? I'm reading. <laughs> but it's, it's just... It's... It's all over the place, my dude. I might increase the reading speed. Why? You don't need to. Okay. I want to, though. Anyway, that's a problem for later. <clears throat> what do you mean, increase the reading speed? The speed it appears Yeah, speed. look, I'm going to show you a little trick here, you mate. You just click on it. Yeah, I know. I didn't read that. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Ask if she wants to go somewhere this reading. Ask if I'd help her clean her room. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> How about do we clean up in here or tomorrow? It is uh, been a while since we did something together. It's okay. I'll do it later. Uh, how? What, what does a French woman sound like? <laughs> uh, it doesn't sound like you. It is. <laughs> it's just it is okay. I'll, I'll do it later. Whoa. We've got Italian. 
Where's the French gone? I'm good on time, actually. Uh, but it would take some time to break off. That's like Russian. What the fuck am I doing? I can't do accents. French, mate. French. You might be right. I'll be off then. Ooh, I'll feed this in. <laughs> All right, then. See you. I want to point out, you told me to talk properly. So, and clearly. Yeah, but not like a fucking robot. I leave her to her own and head for the door. Might as well just get, like, fucking Siri to read it out. Before this... leaving, I pat my pockets, realising that I'm forgetting something. Ro, have you seen my keys? Ooh. I'd say you're a little bit Spanish. The ones with the cork. Have you seen... Have you looked in the kitchen? You keep changing their voices as well, <sighs> and I'm, like, really confused on who's speaking. I check in. I check and find them on the countertop. I always forget to check there. Good thing she keeps tabs on me, even if things are different now. Is that a window or a picture, do you think? That's a picture. Okay. The window's on the other side of the wall. Could be a window there. Thank you, bye. Yeah, to the other room. The thought stops me in my tracks, and I study the cat in question. It's just sitting there, menacingly, <laughs> gazing over <laughs> the water as if saying, menacing. Yes. I do, in fact, rule this land. Which, in fairness, it probably did, by the looks of things. I could at least try to get her a picture. What could possibly go wrong, after all? But how should I approach? Well, you let it know you're there, and closing carefully. Offer a hand in peace. Let it approach you. Better take it slow, here. Slow and steady wins the race. What is your problem? <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. I know, you, you carry on, mate. You have fun. And after all... This is a late night reading of <laughs> Kato. Clive. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I am Clive. <laughs> I speak softly while closing the distance. When I'm merely a few metres away, it gives me a casual glance out of the corner of its eye. I get the idea and stop. Satisfied with my response, it resumes watching over the still water. I glance at the cat. It's basking in the sun with closed eyes and savouring the warmth. The moment is here. I fish my phone out of my pocket. I lean in for a picture. The picture perfectly captures the serenity of the scene. Not wishing to disturb the cat any longer, I get up and walk away. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Oh, oh, the... oh that's a pretty CG. Is that is? Did I win that? Did I do that? No, this is just like the introduction to all the cats. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, the Paris music. Oh, this is my jam. <laughs> Thanks to having friends in high places, also known as the owner. I'm allowed to sneak in through the back door and get my grubby hands on some bread early. Oh. Roselle said she didn't want any, but I'll get her some just in case she changes her mind. Besides, you can never have too much bread. That's a lie. It's, I don't know. I mean, it is, but bread. Look at good. that chunky boy. He is a chunky boy. As I leave the bakery with my precious bake goodness, I notice a carved box next to the door, which apparently is the residence of a charmingly fat cat sleeping inside. Inspired by the success of the earlier cat encounter, I decide to add to win further glory by attaining a second triumphant moment, one to make Grosel, the cat whisperer, proud. I drop my bag and crouch down next to the sleeping cat, or what I thought was a sleeping cat. <laughs> the boy sits. He sits. It opens an eye. Those beans. Those beans. Oh, it blinks. Cool. <laughs> 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 Sorry. It opens an eye and looks down <laughs> at me lazily. I think he wants a pet. Pet, pet. Those chubby cheeks appear to be destined for cuddling. Testing the waters, I tentatively reach out my hand, but meet no resistance. I caress its head. Look at that fucking smug face, though. Look at him. <laughs> I he caress its head, pet. and it peacefully closes its eyes. It looks like a smile, appearing content. Oh, no. 
Which do you want to do? I want to pet the paw. I, I also think want scratching. to pet the paw. I always like to pet paws. But they don't like it when you pet their paws. Scratch the chin then. When I unwittingly touch the cat's chin, it presses its head against my hand. I remove my hand and look at it quizzically. The cat looks back at me with steady eyes that oddly with that oddly satisfied face of a person who knows they'll get whatever they want. Ah, such an easy life. Difference being, this is a cat. <laughs> Hesitantly, I reach back under the chin, and yet again, it pushes against my hand. Finally, catching on to the advanced form of communication, I give it a good scratch and see the grin-like face of excessively happy cat. The rumbling, purring could be heard all over town, all the while the cat bobs along with my movements. After a while, I grow tired of the whole charade and stop. Don't know why I changed that word there, but hey. I fumble with my pocket as I continue petting the cat with the other hand. In the position I'm sitting, it's difficult to get the pocket out of my phone. Out of, yeah, but the other way around. I struggle for a moment. <laughs> Finally, I prevail against these insurmountable odds, place the camera in front of us, and snap a bunch of ho photos, hoping that at least one wouldn't be a blurry mess of disaster. I go through them quickly, and there is one close up photo of picture of the cat's face. It did not look like it ended up tumble dry. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's reading. A few more cuddles later, and I managed to ex. Extricate. Extricate myself from the situation and start off in the direction of home. Boy. Oh, he, he boy. Finally, arriving at the counter, I have myself a few pieces of fresh loaf before dragging myself into the living room and to the TV. After a few minutes of deliberation, I get up, going over to Rose's room and gently knock on her door. Clive. Hey, Ro. Why do you keep saying your Roselle. name? Yes, Clive. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> With that, I take my leave, retiring to the sofa to finish up my meal of bread. <laughs> she just lives off bread. Go to sleep. That's all you need. Suddenly I spot an orange fudge in the periphery. Yep, that orange fudge. <laughs> you know I what, do love some fudge. <laughs> and I instinctively know <laughs> it, it is. is a cat. <laughs> that is an ugly cat. What? What's wrong with it? It's just proportionally wrong. No, it's not. Rather than a fully grown cat, this is a mere kitten. It's a little kitten. kitten, that's why it's weird. Playing with the leaf beneath the tree. Playtime is disrupted, however, when a pedestrian tramples by, startling the little creature. I'd love to join in, but I don't want to frighten it again either. Oh, oh no. Oh, he didn't like no. that. Considering how the person storming by scared the poor little thing, I should probably let her know I'm approaching beforehand. That I don't. I walk closer, careful with slow, deliberate movements, quietly calling outward. Clive. <laughs> hey, friend, don't be afraid. <laughs> Turns That's, out. I would be scared as well. <laughs> clearly anxious due to my presence. I need to do something to break the ice. Tell it about your day. Yeah, small talk. Tell it about your day. Maybe I can get across my friendliness through a casual conversation. Yes, because cats Hello, cat. understand. I cast a weary eye at it, and a kitten is watching me carefully, but seems less withdrawn, more curious. Oh my, indeed. Play with it using a stick. Yes. Well, <laughs> it's obviously a rather playful sort. Maybe that would help me befriend it. But I've never played with a cat. Sure, it can't be too complicated, but how... Should I go about it? It's still a question that needs answering. Avoid sudden movements. Large swaying motions. Oh, so many choices here. Large swaying motions. Oh. Right choice. I lean forward a little to better position it above the cat, trying to make enticing motions with it to get the attention of the kitten and excite it to play. However, it just lays there in a soft orange ball, big eyes looking up at me with trepidation. Quickly, but not too quick, as to avoid startling it, I move away to give it some space, no longer making such an imposing figure. While my current stance is uncomfortable in the extreme, I manage to at least rouse the kitten from its fearful state. 
inquisitive eyebrow. I get a picture for Roe before saying my good boys and heading <laughs> good boys, <laughs> good boys, good boys, get bu- good buys and heading off, <laughs> hoping to make a better impression for next time. Oh. No, as reliable as old faithful, it doesn't take too long for Roe to respond to a cat. Cute. Where did you run into this one? Ah, the street by the park. <laughs> That's <laughs> Scottish. That, that really, really went the wrong Scottish. way. Yeah. It had been spooked by someone rushing past. Ooh, it look- <clears throat> I can't remember French. Just do Scottish then. Ooh, it looks pretty relaxed for Rizelle a small is kitten. is Scottish now, okay? It looks pretty relaxed for a small kitten that's just been scared. Must have kind of done a good job getting near it. Beautiful. Just applied a bit of common sense, haha. It didn't play along, but it seemed curious. Understandable. Probably just a bit apprehensive. But it'd be more playful other ways. I'll try again next time I see it, if I have the opportunity. Anyways, I'll be home soon. See you there. Sounds good to me, eh? No, it's so fucking <laughs> it's, it's bad. It's gone a bit. 